hallelujah. If you're experiencing death in your life right now, if death is manifesting in your life, you should be the first in line to seek God so you can have spiritual life restored back in your life. Somebody say, that's me. In Hosea 7 and verse 14, it says, he's not looking for lip crying. But here what's happening in Hosea 7, 14 says what? And they have not cried unto me with their heart when they howled upon their beds. They assembled themselves for corn and wine and they rebel against me. This God's people, they were howling on their bed and they were crying out for corn and wine. They were just crying out for a car. They were crying out for their land. They were crying out for clothes and night shoes. And that's what the enemy has us doing now, just crying out for things. Somebody said, uh-huh. They were howling, but it says that their heart was not in the right place. They were not doing it um, with the right heart attitude, and I did not have control of their heart. So they were just howling. Somebody said, mm, we want to howl with the right attitude, howling. We want to cry to God with the right motive. Somebody said, hallelujah. And they have not cried unto me with their heart when they howl upon their beds, asking me for stuff. Lord, give me, give me, give me, pile it upon me. Let me look good. But, but, but what are you howling in the land for sinners to be transformed? Are you howling in the land for restoration? Are you howling in the land for revival? Are you howling in the land for signs and wonders and miracles in the land? Somebody said we got to howl for something spiritual in this land. Mm. Oh, somebody said hallelujah. So he said that they're just crying. We, when he looked down upon them and he says, all they're doing is just giving me lip service. Somebody said lip service. But their heart is far away from me. I, 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 and so in, as we go over into 2010, stop giving God what? Uh, lip service. Hallelujah. But he wants all. Somebody say hallelujah. When you cry out, hallelujah, for stuff, be sure that you mix it and say, God, I cry out for my home, for household salvation. I cry out for my next door neighbor. Lord God, I cry out for my community. Lord, I cry out for my island. Lord, I cry out for my nation. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. And it says, and they have not cried unto me with their heart, their whole heart. He's talking about when they howl upon their beds, they assemble themselves for corn and for wine and they rebel against me. They will ask me for stuff. I will, I, and, and that's, that's the church. They say, God, I want my land. God, I want a good nice car. Lord, I want a good night SUV. Lord, I want my nice big house with a three bedroom. And then God give it to you. And then you stop. Seeking God. Just somebody says, say, say, mm. He wants you to have them stuff, but when you get them, hallelujah, you continue seeking Him. Somebody say, hallelujah. Turn that house into a house of prayer. I can't hear you. Somebody say, hallelujah. Turn that house into a mission place. I, I can't hear you. Somebody say, yeah. And He says, after they howl, and they, they howl, and they even give them the stuff when they howl, the corn and the, the wine. I, I took care of their needs. And it says that after they got everything, that's, 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 that's the, that's the way of the game right now. They rebel. Somebody said, uh-huh. When, when folks are down and out, they got nothing. Oh, you see them all the time. Present, present, present. But the moment God just blessed them with something, absent, absent, absent. He, they asked for the corn and the wine. They got the corn and the wine. Bye-bye, God. Somebody said, mm. Oh, somebody said, mm. They can't stay with God to get a process portion and the Oprah's portion and the, what the other guy name? Bill Gates and what the other guy name? Donald Trump portion and what the other guy who got Warren Buffett's portion. Somebody said, uh huh. You understand? You see, you see we're missing it out? God just said, let me start the blessing process. You throw your car, hmm, take it. Throw your piece of land, hmm, take it. Somebody said, uh huh. And then you're not staying with him for him to exalt you in the kingdom somebody say hallelujah god's looking for some folks that he could show off in the kingdom somebody say i am one touch somebody say i am one because we continue seeking him somebody say hallelujah oh somebody say hallelujah so we're not going to rebel against god somebody say i'm not going to rebel against him i'm not going to be a generation of howlers that would ask him for stuff and when he shows up with the stuff i just reject him oh no no somebody say hallelujah I'm going to howl for something different. 
I'm going to howl for a move of God. Come on, touch somebody and say, we got to howl. We got to cry for a move of God. The 21st century church, we got to cry for a move of God. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. And we got to do, we got to hook up. Hallelujah. And all the hearts got to come together and warm and come together. And when we say it's time, we're going to seek God. And in 2010, we're going to have moments. In January, we're going to start preparing our hearts to seek God. And we're going to come together to warm ourselves to seek God. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Because we want to see a shift. We want to see a change. We don't want to have the same walk and the same language as we go over and going towards our 11th year. Somebody say, we want a shift. I can't hear. Put your hand and say, Lord, we want a shift. Everybody help me say, Lord, we want a prophetic shift. Oh, hallelujah. We want the north wind to blow and we want the south wind to blow in. And we want them to collide. Somebody say, Hallelujah. The north wind blowing out from his throne where he resides. And the south wind coming in with abundance and opulence and prosperity. Somebody say hallelujah. That's somebody said, that's me, that's me, that's me. Somebody said, that's what I want. Oh, hallelujah. So we need to, to howl. Howl for our community. Somebody said, we got to howl. We got to howl for souls. We got to howl for our families. We got to howl for our church with a pure heart, with all of our heart. And say, God, you got to birth something here in this church. God, I'm not going to leave it just for two and three and four, but we want to come like the 120 up in the upper room. And I want to do my part in howling and in praying. Ah, somebody say, Hallelujah. Touch somebody say, You got to do your part. Touch somebody say, You got to do your part. Oh, you got to do a part of praying, howling, and going hard after God. Somebody say hallelujah. Woo, glory. We got to howl for our city. We got to howl for our nation. We, we got to howl for our leadership. You got to howl for your pastor. You got to cry out. Somebody say hallelujah. You, you see deficiencies in your pastor? You know, say, well, I wonder what's happening. No, you got to point and say, God, I'm howling for my pastor. Somebody say hallelujah. Howl. Somebody say we got to howl. Mm. And so in Hosea 5 and verse 14, it tells us that at times God will go and hide himself. Oh, that's, this one will mess you up. This one, that's what I said, this one will mess you up. In Hosea 5 and verse 15, it tells us, it says, I will go and return to my place. Read it with me, I, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early. One more time, let's read together. Help me read. In the affliction. Oh, yes. I will go. God is saying that I will go and return to my place. I will just go and return and just recluse, be a recluse, hide myself for a season, and so until they acknowledge their ways. You see, I'm going to go and hide. I will go and what? Return to my place. Till they acknowledge their what? Offenses. Until they acknowledge their what? Sins. And they will acknowledge their offenses, acknowledge their sins, and they will come back and what? Seek my face. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Because it says in their affliction, they will seek me early. Some folks can only seek God in their affliction. That's somebody says some folks can really, really seek God when things are real bad. When they are broke, disgusted, sorry, and sorry. Ah, pastor. <laughs> some folks can only seek God when they are what? Busted and disgusted. And, and when they're afflicted and when the, 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 the devils and demons whip it be at the bit, is in their behind, they start crying out to God. Somebody say hallelujah. In their affliction, they will what? Seek me early. And there are some folks, he says, I will go and return to my place. There are some folks that God is just hiding just to see what they will do. Somebody touch them and say, God will just hide for a moment. To see what you would do. And there are some questions that God cannot hide a moment from. Because when you say, God, I got a headache here in shopping time. God went my tire flat so that God have God as a, as a gopher and a fix it man. Somebody say, uh huh. And so there are some questions that God cannot hide himself from. Somebody say, uh huh. When, when there are some questions, when God hide himself from them, they begin to curse the pastor. Somebody just say,